this as a starter, but where are we at? Is this GIO? Stadium. GIO Stadium, so this is something new. G'day, how you going? Are you in uh, yes, at 12 yeah, o'clock. So turn down here. Yep. There's a U-turn sign. Come back up and just follow those cars that are going into that car park there. Hey mate, how are you? Yeah, good. Why am I being filmed? Because mate, I'm a YouTuber. I want to show the world how great the Summer Nats event is. Fucking fair enough. All right, you see where this green oh. one is here? Yep. Yeah, and I'm assuming you have a car that's getting screwed near. I do, yes. You're going to be a while. There's a lot of cars now. Nice. Um, but behind that green one is where the line's currently at. Okay, mate. Yeah, so if you could just jump in there and then is this guy with you or not? No. Nah. All right, all good. Well, yeah, just behind that green one for us. Cheers, brother. All good. You have a good afternoon. Cheers, brother. So we're defecting guys on the way. <laughs> so what's this uh, red sticker or red red plate or whatever? I have no idea, man. I've seen some guy on uh, Facebook. Uh, we got red labelled, and now everyone's got their number plates off. <laughs> it's like all, all the right. cars. Everyone's, everyone's. Look at them. Everyone's taking it off. What's going on with your car for the weekend? Just cruising around, bro. Well, what do nice. you think of the sticker? Yeah, I like it. Nice stickers straight out. Good, uh, good design. Man, shout out to the brother in New Zealand who uh, designed it, man. He put his heart into that, eh? It looks good, man. Interesting. The bro just put that wristband on. It's a new style. There you go. And it's one way. Yeah. And I just said to the bro, I can't take this off and give it to a friend. And, he, and so if you do that up tight, if you do it up too tight, but... do it up tight that way, you can't pull it off that way. It doesn't... It won't come off. Come off. But if I do that on too tight, then I'm pretty much... It's your fault. So if I'm in the <laughs> middle of the night and, and someone wants to find it funny, I'll wake up with a black hand. <laughs> Just don't do it up too tight, you'll be right. Fucking means. Love Australia, huh? Take it easy. Cheers, brother. This guy's a proper GC. Oh, I missed him. Okay, guys, so I made it here to Summonats. Uh, first time through the new scrutineering section. Um, the car's here. It's been a mission. Huge thank you to everyone uh, who's helped. Uh, had hundreds of messages of uh, support, both here in Oz and New Zealand. Uh, and the car's here. I'm, um, I'm always a little bit nervous doing scrutineering. So there it is, just quietly. All my work, nothing's been tested yet. So um, here he is. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, how you yeah. going? You see me the front props, the back, brother. Oh, yeah, that's every right. Year. Yeah, yeah. Every year, yeah, every year. So, yeah. Can I get you to idle forward, please? Yeah, man. Yeah, hundred percent. Get, get you in the shade as well. Awesome. Thanks, bro. Go there. Send it. Uh, off the off. Yeah, I can peel it off. I'll straighten that one. Sweet. Um, so burnout. Can't take all of. So my wristband's meant to be on my left hand. And you can't take. Yeah, but you can't take it off now. No. I wonder how many people are going to wake up with black hands in the morning. People playing jokes. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, See you next year. Man. Thanks, brother. Good, See you next year. Thank you. Fine Thank enough. you. Really appreciate it. Sweet. About to go and see a heap of cars in Canberra. Um, I've got a heap of stickers that I'm going to put on all the cars. So uh, I'd love to have every car that I, every rotor that I ever see, I want to put a misfire uh, rotary sticker on it. Me on the way. Come on, let's let's start it. Okay, guys, look, we're at the um, where it's now. This is Ampol. You said Caltech oh, service I, station. Oh, I don't know. I've told everyone to go to Caltech. <laughs> well, we're at Ampol, so it's this guy his fault. Yeah, you're, well, you're, the, you're the bloody troublemaker. I oh, know. Okay, let's go and have a look at the, the R100 and let's get some misfire stickers on some of these oh, fucking yeah, cars, bro. Come on, come on. For the people that haven't seen it before, come and show you R100. You've won how many roll racing events? Oh, uh, going all right there. Except for the, yeah, again, some two wheel drives, it's good. You won Sydney. Have you won anything up in Queensland at all? No, I got second because we tra didn't come on trans break in the final, remember, up at Queensland Revival? Because it looks like a 12 a Cosmo intake. See so yeah, I modified this part here. Yeah, and you run the, um, yeah, no pod filter at all. Because oh, I, I no. thought that's what it was. What sort of numbers does it make, Kevin? I haven't done the, the real street. I just like the street surface events. What horsepower does it make, but I have to oh, be about, No, about 473. Oh, shit. Yeah. Are you still running methanol in the back? Yeah, a little bit of meth injection, yeah. Let's have a geese in the back, yeah? Yeah. You just did all the interior in it. And um, this is in one of the other videos that I did where he tried to scare the shit out of me. 
So what have you changed here? What the microphone? Yeah, yeah, I just feeded it in. It used to be on the thing. What's that? It, the dash unit? Oh, yeah, and the... So who did all the methanol injection and everything? Oh, Visa done all that. Troy? Yeah. GC? Look. I've got a vacuum in the back. Now, do you run straight methanol in that, or do you yeah, run the straight? Additive? It's only injection at top, you know, in the high boost, just to keep it cool. And What's then, that, brother? That's me vacuum for the for the brake booster because they don't have them standard, you know. So there's no room in the engine bay. So, all right, bro. Let's put a sticker on this. Yeah, just put it in the. Try to center it. Sweet. Hard right, out. Cheers, brother. No worries, thanks. There you go. You're used to me throwing a camera in your face now, aren't you? Uh, oh, it's been a while. We've known each other. It's pretty good. Jeremy, uh, um, bro, you leaps and bounds, man. Pro Seals. Yeah, doing doing well. Got um, confidence in the products and, yeah, no, things are going well. That's awesome, yeah, man. Yeah, you know, it, it really is some good. goals. Always trying for new and better things that, in the pipeline. But, yeah, no, really happy with it, and, and it's an option. Do you have one of the Seals in your pocket? Actually, I, I do. Sweet. Bro, grab it out, pop your hood, <laughs> and um, let's do a bit of a thing while we're here, Jeremy, and we've got the time. And I'm also going to put a, a Misfire Rotary sticker on, if you wouldn't mind. i got no issue with that. Would you represent that for me, brother? <laughs> you represent me, and I'll represent you. Not a problem. Sweet. Okay, now, what <laughs> seals are we looking at here? Oh, here we are. as a street seal. This is a, um, a boosted street seal going to a 13B. Uh, so now, does it matter with the fuel that you're using with these with seals? These, not at all. Okay, so methanol, yeah. E85, E85, she's all good. methanol. So this is a two mil street boosted seal that we use. Um, and that's your brand over there. Got, uh, had, now, uh, now the corner seal, I'm noticing, that's is that designed to snap off or? Yeah, that's, you know what? Yes, they are. They're glued on just for assembly purposes, which makes it easy. Some people like to pull them apart and, and resize the seal to whatever they prefer to do. But we make to a, a standard size to ourselves as an 80 to an 805 and if someone wants to adjust well they can adjust they're free to do that now what sort of boost have these bad boys seen like uh, they, they've been tested to 55 pound at this stage but then our methanol seals have been a lot higher than that okay so, so there are different versions yeah, of that there, there are yeah we make and we actually make 18 different types of apex seal i'm gonna have to come back and visit you another day and do another a proper day i've come this I'm running my product. Shape me up. Hey, we could, till, we could talk in like half an hour, you and me, but we've got, know, we've got to keep it rolling. So I'm not trying to be rude, but we're, yeah, yeah. No, nah, right. you've got things to do, so. Let's go and get one of these out. Yeah, sure. Put that in your pocket. I will. And I want to see. Um, then you These are uh, available now. I've got a few of them. If people want to hit me up at Summonats, um, I've got a couple more in stock that I brought with me. Uh, I've also got a bit of merch as well. I can't sell merchandise at Summonats, um, but I can outside. So here, Jeremy. That's pretty mean, Jeremy. Thanks, brother. Yep. There you go. Thanks, brother. Welcome. Appreciate we'll it, catch man. up with you. Let's go and do this RX2. Who owns the RX2 again? Hey, man. Ashley. Hey, Jerry. Good to meet you, Jerry. Bro, beautiful RX2 coupe. Uh, what's underneath the engine bay? That's just a... Well, underneath the hood, I meant to say. <laughs> what's underneath the engine bay? 13B Bridgeport, naturally aspirated. Manual? Yeah, manual possibly. Oh, nice. All the Kiwi guys are like that. Yeah, awesome. They love the manuals. Yeah. Um, what sort of horsepower does it make? Is it running pump or 85 or something? No, it's just running pump. Yes, yeah, it's, it's yeah. Just a cool barper, Gilmer Drive. Yeah. Um, yeah, just a nice, tidy RX2 genuine coupe, man. Yeah. How rare are they now? Can I give you one of these stickers where you put one on the yeah, car yeah, for awesome. me? This is actually pretty pretty funny. The All bro right. was trying to take it off of the edge. Oh, yeah. So anyone buying these stickers, I've made it. I haven't cheapened out like i've went to the best gear the best material oh. you just peel it off oh, there bro peel it off there yeah yeah, oh. yeah bro well oh, bro adam center it yeah right bit right there that's pretty mint hey brother hey mate how you going good to see you What's man happening? um can I have a bit of a geese of it and then give you a sticker? Yeah. Yeah? yeah What's yeah. Uh, underneath the um, the hood? Uh, it's a full brow built uh, 13B. And is it a Series 6, 7, series 8? Six. Series 6. Holy uh, shit, Series bro. 6, so... Um, Fucking no. Yeah, G42. Um, Garrett Turbo. Um, what, what sort of horse do you like? Uh, it's in between 450 and 500, but I still need, I need to get a retune because I've uh, just got the new turbo and I haven't tuned it yet, so hopefully it should make more or a bit more flowy. Who 
did the fab work and all that? Uh, the four parts are mechanical. Are they in, in Canberra? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So then from the four parts, uh, they've tuned it. They've done all the work. They've done all the piping. Uh, Howtech Elite 2500. Drive by wire. Drive by wire. They've done everything. They've done everything. So didn't get a chance to tune it before the nuts because I've I ran out of um, drum fuel. The E5. So oh, yeah, that is, that's a mean build. To do all my work. They're, they're awesome. There's another RX3 blue one that's going to be coming. They do all the work for us as well. So awesome, brother. Mean, bro. That's fucking sick. Thank, brother. Thanks, man. Yeah. You're up. Let's do it. Let's go. Come on. So, so the history of this car, Kev used to own this car. Yeah, Kev owned this one. It's got 80,000 Ks on it. I'm the third owner after Kev. It's just all original. It's got the aircon, everything works. No shit. Who did all the paint? Because that paint's mean. Some guy in Sydney where we got it from. Kev bought in mid covert But it's dead stock. That's Nothing really nice done. paint, man. Beautiful. And it looks like all stock, so stock brakes still, drum on the rear. Yeah, it's all stock. With AC. It's got AC, it's got everything. It's got adjustable colors and that's it, just to make the weird ride better. Oh, to center line? Yeah, do it by itself, brother. Do it down yeah, there. Is yeah, it center? Yeah, down the bottom. All done. Mean, brother. No worries. Thanks, bro. Right. Hey, my friend. Hey, it's so good to see you, man. What's going on? Yeah, we'll catch up on uh, off camera, but yeah, I, I want to spend some time with you. What's going on? I've made this specially for you. I've got a sticker on it, mate. Oh, this car, I've seen this at Revival, man. It's quick. You, this car's been a bit of a mission, yeah? It has been and somewhat of a mission. After I did the last video with you, I went to Rotor Revival and I cooked a little 12A. Eh? So. And what? you had issues with trans brake as well? Uh, yeah, that was well, that was because on that day, um, I had an issue with my fuel tank. I went around the corner, fuel sloshed to one side at about six, 7,000 RPM. I couldn't be sure exactly what. It just like, just for a second, it was like the engine switched off and then switched back on. And obviously it's ran out of fuel. It ran lean and it flattened one of the rear corner seals and lost compression, which is why I couldn't get it to stall up for the drags. So many little intricate pieces. I noticed the dipsticks from NZ. Yep. That's one yeah, of I those. Got, I got a little bit from um, Franklin Engineering over there. A lot of billet stuff. And where are the brakes from on this? Because you got the, the oh, you, you didn't change the five five stud when you did the brake uh, upgrade. The rear, huh. the rear is different size to the front apparently. Oh, uh, four by one ten or four by one hundred. Oh, they're four by one fourteen point three, and they're four by one ten. How come you didn't do five star conversion when you upgraded the disc? Just didn't. I didn't build it. The guy who did uh -huh. it sourced it. It fits so uh -huh. uh, the wheelwood brakes fit in there, so didn't need to. Oh, I got to say, how many subs are you on now? Oh man, I, a I million. Checked. Nah, no, probably a couple of hundred thousand, something like that. Fucking hell. How do people find you online? Um, guys watching this won't be interested in what I'm doing, so it doesn't really matter. Well, some people like their hair. Oh, I'm sure they like their hair. Billy, the Billy and Charlie over in Zeb, they're probably not too... <laughs> actually, actually, that is a fucking good idea, yeah, is I'll it not? Do got... something, do something real... Where are they? The, the, I, I, don't, I actually think they're stuck in traffic on the way down here. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> come here, why not? Yeah, we'll, we'll do, do... We'll do a YouTube video and you can put it on yours, I'll put it on mine. Yeah, that'd be funny yeah, as. All right. Sorry. All right, me. Okay, so how do people find you online? Your name, I don't your know channel. Find me. Just say your channel. It's uh, Adam Cha Cha C I A double C I A, all one word. Yep. Fuck yeah, two hundred k. Holy shit. Maybe one day. Thanks, brother. Cheers, man. Let's get out. Sun, it's hot. Just two more stickers. Who's ca who's car's this? Yeah, of course I do. Hey, bro. Let's um grab that. Want to put it on your car? BJ, probably doing six seven hundred horsepower. <laughs> um, yeah, built by Punk. G45, built by race only. Um, C4, Nexus R5, PD16. Fuck, can I ride in this, brother? Yeah, if you want it. It's only on running tune. No, but that's okay. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah, it's so. It's Yeah. 
how does it go real life driving? Awesome. Like it's easy to drive. See, at the moment, so we've had some issues with oil coolers as well. Um, and it doesn't have an oil cooler at the moment. And, you know, it's 30 degrees and it's 75 oil temp. Yep, the, the water temp's 85. Yeah. Um, seems happy. So, um, so you did look at upgrading the oil cooler that you've just got to... Well, I had a PWR. It's bombed two PWRs. Where do they blow from? The side tanks? Nah, from the fittings. It's like an expand, so I don't know, it's really weird. That's an interesting thing for people to comment on. That it's blowing the fittings. Yeah, like it's, it's like it's stretching. So you put a fitting in and it's, and it's tight. But after a, a bit of a drive, it just gets really loose and it starts weeping. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's really weird. That's an interesting thing. We just well, fitting as well. It's not really fitting, so. What's that? Police. Waves. What does it mean, police in 300? It says they pop something. How the fuck does it know that? <laughs> you haven't got some scanner in here. No, no. It's just ways. I want to know those ways, brother. <laughs> I feel like, like after coming from New Zealand to here, I feel like everyone's Red after you here in here, bro. Like with all the, like there's all these cameras and there's yeah. fucking everything there. Yeah, like everywhere. it feels like they're after you, eh? Turbo, you can go back tough, like keep going bit. You're right, you got a meter. Say hold, mate. I know. We, we are here in Aussie, but you know, <laughs> I've got a sticker for you, so you've yeah. got to represent Misfire. Oh, yeah, um, sweet. Show us, you've got to show us under the hood first, yeah, up, no bro. 30BT, uh, full cup bridge board, uh, Garrett uh, 3584 RS, so it's pretty small turbo, but comes on real strong. And yeah, that's about it, man. Uh, Haltech uh, computer, that's about it. Okay, where are you going to put it front uh, or back? Front or back, man. Yeah? Thanks, brother. 
Uh, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, man. Enjoy your time down here. Will do. Yeah, you got your bearings? I did. Yeah. I did the video. It's been a mission. You can watch yourself on YouTube. <laughs> See you guys. Thank you. I'll speak to you. Thanks, bro. Hey brother, hey. how you going man? What is it about rotors that you love? Oh, I think they're just so unique, they're so different. I think pound for, uh, pound for or punch for pound, they're, they're the best. They're the Bang best for buck. Get. Bank for buck, yeah. They're so much fun, they're unique, and everyone who owns one just gets it. If you know, you know. <laughs> now that uh, Series 5 that you had, that yeah. proper, man, that, does this go as good as that Series this 5? This would kill it. Oh shit. This would kill it. Yeah. What? I bought the car, within five minutes of taking it off the trailer, I drove it and I hit a kangaroo in the front of fucking Bunnings in Fishwick. So that's my uh, that's my rebuild job. That's another quickly. that's another Canberra thing, ACT, there's skippies everywhere. Yes. And that's when I also you know the I don't know if you see these videos I'm doing over in NZ when I panic yeah, when I'm out in the country. Yeah, I mean, and, and I'm saying to people like just take it easy because we're out in the country. Fuck if can you imagine yeah. doing that here? Oh yeah. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's a result of um, Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And that was a that was a pretty light impact as well. But yeah, within five minutes car was immaculate. And it didn't have a single mark on it. So it's you can fix it, but you'll fix it. Yeah, it's all cosmetic. So horsepower? Um, so 480 at the rears um, on E85 on 22 pound. Shout out to your company name as well. Uh, Pappas Projects and Capital Building Remediation. Like you do mean buildings, brother. <laughs> I've seen them, man. Thank you, man. A lot of respect. Good to see you. Sounds nice. Motorsport make these um, yeah. filler ins and they make it specifically for the fuel tech as well, yeah, obviously. Yeah, fuel tech, um, Caltech, and the Microtech. Yeah, Microtech, all the brands. So, uh, yeah, you have the Microtech, you know. So, what brand is that valve? The uh, exhaust? I've got the AES one. Yeah, the best one. Yeah, I just, yeah. I've got one. Yeah, they I mean, leak I sometimes. Like eight, I went to eight QT first, kept it in the flaps, and you give it a crack when it's closed and it just bent. That's me, bro. Sweet, let's whack a sticker on. Really appreciate yeah, that, bro. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it, bro. Watching your videos, are you doing? doing the rider community justice. Trying, man. Trying to share the love. That's what it's about. Bro, I wanted to see this car for so long. <laughs> How you going, man? Ashley. would have been quite a famous car back in the day i mean it still is but what was the story with the car was it an auto ex auto salon car and, yeah, and yeah. who built the car tell us everything I about did, it i did everything to it um, oh really yeah so i um, i was the original owner and built it and um, yeah, did auto salons back in the day and then started chasing power so what was it about the body or why did you choose this car for to, to do this kind of work to like oh, to do the conversion? Cars, so, yeah, as you can see I have two of them and yeah, a couple other cars as well which are similar but yeah. yeah. And uh, turbo specs, horsepower it makes? Uh, 600 horsepower, that's a GT42R. And uh, fuel that it's running? V85. And what's that like here in Canberra to get? Thanks so much man, really appreciate it. What is it? A series three, series three oh, RX four. Yeah, I think they call it a um, loose. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but, but that's the, the. That's bloody nice, huh? It'd be nice to have a look at the engine, but yeah, loose. You guys don't know who this is, at all, do you? Oh, brother. <laughs> did you build it here in Canberra? No, I didn't. No, actually, I didn't build it at all. I bought it pretty much the way it is. <laughs> what does it sound like? Do you like that leading, Kim? That sounds nice. Yeah. Little iron lap in a sec. It's, it's, it's all, uh, it's all the way it should 
they saying any trouble with the police or anything since it's all engineered up. What are the police like here in Canberra? Uh, I, I don't know, I don't get out much with it. It's the first time I've driven it in two years. So it's, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I, I haven't been out much with it. But look, I think they're not too bad nowadays. They used to be back, go back 15 years ago, they're probably a bit more excited. I think. That's awesome, brother. No Thank worries. you very much. Thank you, you're welcome. Holy shit, what? And they're yeah, Dillard. Dillard Boss. Dillard Boss. Yeah. Engines built by Mr. Enforcer. Matt, he's a good guy. Um, yeah. Drive by wire, um, custom manifold thinking. Yeah, it's not pushing all the power yet. Um, I'm still on AG1 end coils. Um, my next step is go CDI and then I've got to sort out. Uh, power to the fuel pump. I just need a little bit more bigger cable. I upsized the fuel pumps, but um, still the cable sort of. I think it's 680 at the moment. It's got more. Thanks for sharing it with us, brother. Really appreciate it. Ashley, how you going, bro? Nice to meet you, mate. You too, man. Nice to meet you. What a, um, what a beautiful car. Have you had it for uh, very long? Or? Oh, I've had it for, this is my first time out for it. I've had it for a year now, I think, a bit over. Um, yeah, it's done a few events now, roll racing and um, Cuda, so, no, it goes well. It is a spectacular car. <laughs> Please, show me, uh, show me yeah. underneath the bonnet. Now, Fuel Tech. Yep, yep, Fuel Tech. Holy shit. Who built it? Tell me, uh... So, APA built it. I bought it like, uh, like it is. So, APA Melbourne built it. Um, and then now it's in my possession. ESP have been looking after it in camera, so... Whale built this? Yeah, he did. No shit! Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, uh, yeah. APA Automotive, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, no, I'm doing real well. Uh, specs for the turbo? Also, oh, it's a GDS 42, 13B, uh, semi BP. Um, we're not building anything, um, we're making 450 kilowatts. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, we'll run on time this year. Let's see how we go, I guess. Gearbox in it, diff? Uh, Jaco 3 speed, it's got a full 9 inch, full pack rear end, um, wheel woods. Um, you basically got a tree set up, so. Running methanol injection at all? Oh no, just the 85. Okay. Um, with the yeah, that's, it. that's a beautiful Pretty car, brother. Yeah. Beautiful car, man. Thank you. Lucky man. Thank you. Now this is kind of what I'm talking about. What are they defecting people, or what are they getting done for, bro? Uh, they're getting done for like suspension, like the wheels hanging out and stuff like that. Overall, just the car being too loud. Hey, boys, how's it going? Hello. Man, beautiful RX4. Thanks. How you going, brother? What's going on with the sunroof? It's a factory roof. No shit. Are you serious? <laughs> How's it going? Factory sunroof. Yeah. On genuine RX4. Yeah. Holy shit! I've never seen that before. What did they come out? What series? Or was that an option? Or oh, it's series one. And was that an option that you could um you could do, or or that's just how they came? Can you operate it for me? Go in, yeah, yeah? slides. Yeah, can you show me, please? I've never seen that. Fucking cool is that? I want that shit in my RX4. How come my RX4 didn't have that? It was Aussie delivered 
Any, no rust? No. Oh, that's so fucking cool. I can't believe it. Uh, can I have a look at the, uh, underneath the bonnet? Would you mind? Oh, it's a bit of a mess. That's okay. It's, I've it's a beautiful. Since 1990. Wow. Yeah, genuine axe. Uh, Canberra car? Yeah. Uh, delivered in here in Canberra? Don't know. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. <laughs> What's the that story with this motor? Did you paint it that? That was some mates and I, yeah, I had to find it. <laughs> That's so cool, mate. And the blue brake lines as well. Yeah. That's awesome. You have almost made my night with seeing that. I kid you not. All Thank right. you so much, my friend. I mean that genuinely. Uh, look up uh, Misfire. Misfire Rotary. Misfire Rotary. Yes. Yep. Thank you so much, my friend. Because that's what I thought he was. So he's proper. Get, yeah, he's getting it. He's getting defect. So how does it work with Canberra defects? What happens if he gets that paperwork? Does he have to go to court for that or? Uh, yeah, well, it depends. Like, it depends what the cop wants to do. You need to go to a defect station, cop can send you a defect station, or he just goes to uh, a standard mechanic. It all depends on the cop. And then you have to get it re engineered and um, complied again and like inspected. Properly passed, re engineered. So, no airbags are allowed. Hey, relax, they got a cyclist. What happened, brother? What, so you, you dumped the valves or something? No, bro, my car's factory exhaust. So what they get you for? Being too low, being too low. So what happens now? I'm gonna go get inspected. And then engineered and um, yeah. and then re-inspected so and yeah, okay. The fine, huh? They do the fine on it. All the best, brother. Thank you. Shouldn't encourage you, mate.